Hello, everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm your girl, Melody Trapps, and you know I'm all about living life unlimited. Well, with it being Valentine's and all, you know, sometimes we wonder if it's love or lust. A lot of times we think we're in love, it is nothing but lust, honey. But then, you know, lust can turn into love sometimes. Well, I've had an amazing panel of guests that's going to let you know whether it's love or lust. And then you know we got to hear from the doctor himself, the scientist. Mm -hmm. So a lot in store. Stay tuned. After this break, we'll be right back. graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in ourselves, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Oh, is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. Hello everyone and welcome back. You're watching the Melody Tri Show. Right now we have an amazing episode for you which is all about Valentine's. Is it love or lust? Let's welcome our amazing group panel today. How y'all doing? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Well look, I want to introduce each one of you. I want you to tell everybody who you are and what you do. I mean because you definitely qualified to be on this panel today. We're going to stand in with you. Uh, my name's Adonis. I'm an actor, do production, also a business professional. Ooh, bam. <laughs> and he's single, y'all. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> go ahead. All of us single, right? Yes, we are. Okay, I'm Monique okay. Jackson, and I am newly single. I'm a celebrity publicist, a brand strategist, and a TV producer. Bam! Hey. I'm Danny Royce. I'm an entrepreneur and actor, and I uh, currently produce a show called Inside the Black Actor Studio. Bam! Hi, my name is Melissa Strong, and I am an actress in Hollywood. Bam. Well, you know, this is one amazing show, and that's why I love having all of you here, because in the entertainment industry, a lot of times, people get in relationships, mm -hmm. and, yes. and it don't last. Right. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And it's kind of like hard to juggle your, your career as well as have a relationship. Mm -hmm. So right. what would you say in this industry? Is it love or lust? Yeah. A lot of times, I think it's just lust. It's you just know? lust. It's very, very hard to find love in this industry, because you don't know if it's real or fake. Oh. Right. That's but true. but that's in life in general. That's in life. I right? have to give credit to uh, a lot of my, e even some of the people that I work with. They've had really long, powerful, meaningful relationships, and you know it might have started out as lust. Uh huh. Um, and turned to love. And turned into love. Mm -hmm. Are they still together? I, uh, nah. So it turns back into love. <laughs> right. And there's a, I mean, there's a lot of no, no, I do, I, I, there, there are some who have last the time. Yeah. Last the time. Yeah. I think in this industry, there's a lot of infatuation. You know, there's like, Definitely. oh, oh, you know, you, you show people what you want them to see. And then once you find out the real them, it's like, oh, it's oh, totally different. Because you know what? You actors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know how to play the part. <laughs> I think a lot of time it's selfish love oh. because everybody's so in love with themselves mm. that then it's hard for them to be in love with you. Yeah. Because you know yeah. what I, I've seen too is because when you're acting so much, you really forget who you are. Right. right. So oh. I, you don't oh. even know what you want. But there's a balance, I think, in that, too, because self-love is very important. It is. And that was something that I had to learn to, you know, have more of. So once you love yourself, I think you're able to love other people. Although mm. some people love themselves too, too much. Too much, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's, that's, that's a lot. They fall in love with the actor or actress and don't really fall right, in love the with persona. you, the right. actual person that you are. Too. Oh, yeah. that's, that's true. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. And that, maybe that's the reason why so many of them get divorced. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm just well, saying because a lot of them, you know, don't laugh. And do you think, because sometimes I think it's a publicity stunt. Like, I'm just right. saying. Okay, hold right. on. Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, publicist. I'm a publicist. <laughs> and the first thing I will say is that all of my clients have actually found love on their own. When you are in the industry, you have your whole days. <laughs> mm. 
I have typical. I mean, everyone has their old days. Well, I ain't have no old days. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I got married yeah. right out of high school. Uh-huh. I've been a mess ever since. <laughs> See, that's why you should have had your old days. <laughs> I guess I have some old days ahead of me. Ahead. Maybe right. in the future. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. Yeah. future. It's not too late to be off. Because, you know, I mean, you know, right. because I know some people 60 and 70. And, you right. know, and it's just amazing that they, you know, go through that, that phase. Right. But what I would ask, though, what would you prefer to have in this industry? Because a lot of times when you fall mm-hmm. in love, mm-hmm. a lot of things got to stop. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't really up and go to no audition and then get booked. And you might have to fly to Atlanta. You might have right. to fly to New York. Your client might have to go. You may have to go and be gone for six months. Right. So how are you going to maintain no, him? I, mm, I but think at first. Stop, but, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One have to do with the other. Because well, because. I'm working. I'm not with another man. We're just, I'm working. But I'm a lot of people. Yeah. The relationship no, I get what you're saying. The relationship. Some people don't understand that, though. Right. That's why it has you, to be on a that, like mind level. Mm-hmm. Why you would date someone mm-hmm. within the industry because they understand. They go through the same thing. Exactly. But, but also, you know, I think. Go ahead. I'm communication talking. is key, though, too. Yeah, like, at the beginning. Like, if even if I'm not with someone that's that's an actor. Uh, communication of okay this might happen I'm working this this is my job you going to your job you know every day this is my job I might have to be gone for three months so it's just that communication that it, needs to happen it's also hard for them to understand that though yeah but but when it is real love people are le- less selfless mm-hmm. but then too, under- it becomes competition too well, when you in the industry, you date when you're in the in industry, industry perhaps it, so. and you getting booked, and they're uh-huh. not getting booked. <laughs> <laughs> that part, I know what that part. It turns from <laughs> love to just love, we meet up. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're right along. Yeah, it's like you working now. Right. Uh-huh. I'm saying, have y'all had any moments where you know we just meet up? Meet up? What you mean? Hook up? Yeah. Just hook up. It ain't love. Okay. It just. Straight lust. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, you. Okay. okay well, we're gonna talk about. It. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> so I'll put my hand up. For I, that. I, I just joined Bumble. Oh, okay. So, you just so joined hey. Bumble. You know. Yeah. Hey. Bumble, so newly to this thing. Yeah. So I just they're gonna, Bumble, they're, so gonna, I, they're gonna they're gonna rig you on I, in. I'll figure that out really soon. Here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So look, you guys, we need to hear from the doctor himself. You know, we need the scientists to give us a little insight on what love really is. Is it love or lust? So stay tuned, and after this break, we'll be right back. Bumble, bumble, mm-hmm. bumble, bumble. Mm-hmm. It's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. This is Jaina, Into the Future. Do you remember back when I was in seventh grade? Anything that I would do, she would make fun of me, she would laugh at me, she would talk to her friends and whisper. I grew up to be more independent and love myself and just be a little bit more confident. Aww. <laughs> I'm like blue tearing up right now. My graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in ourselves, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Unlimited Life with your host, Melody Trice. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Well, I did say we need to talk to the doctor. I say he Dr. Love, but it's Dr. Royal Sims. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. And he is the scientist of love. And, you know, one of the things we're talking about, love or lust. How can a person differentiate whether it's love or lust? Uh, When someone commits Mm. a commitment, you know, that question is always asked, especially when it comes to men. Um, you know, women always ask, well, how do I know that he loves me? It's when he commits. Mm. Right. And, you know, we're talking about um, when you're dating, you, you know, you're having fun. You're just not being committed. And it's so important to make sure that you, how that's, you know he that's committed, your goal. Though? Uh, when that person is not trying to date anymore, oh, okay, okay, when you're not out there just dating other people, and because everything. some people like open relationships. Yeah, well, you have to talk about that and make sure that it's not an open relationship. Because to me, that that would kind of be more in the range of 
is he just all lust? If he say he loving me, but he wants us to be in an open relationship, how can we be in an open relationship and he be with someone else? Right. Yeah, that's not possible. Mm. In, you know, I mean, you're not going to be in a committed relationship. That's true. You're going to be in an open relationship. Wow. And that's why it's so important to articulate exactly what you're looking for. And that's why it's important for everybody to make sure before you venture into the relationship arena is that you make sure you understand what you're looking for, what your uh, non-negotiable requirements, your needs and your wants. Mm. Take your time and get to know self, too, as well, to know what it is that you're really looking for in a relationship before you venture out there. Because sometimes people just jump out into the relationship and you don't really know what you're actually actually looking oh for God. and that's true and yeah. and it's almost like if you don't know who you are and what you like then how that other person is going to be able to know what you like and you don't even know what you like yeah absolutely and especially what i tell women too that you're the employer us men we're just interested in trying to get the job what? so it's important for you to know what you're trying to hire that's true right that's and, it's, true. and it's no different than when you go look for a job when you're going to look for a job, they know what they're looking for in order to hire you. Yeah. So you have to know what you're looking for in order to hire someone into your life. And that's true because women, we just infatuate the idea of love. Like, yeah. I just want to, I want him to love me. I want him to love me. But we don't know what it takes sometimes to the type of love we want. Yeah. You know, and, and I wonder, like, is that something from past history that makes that happen or is that like couldn't be a generation because I know a lot of times people who parents were divorced they tend to be divorced yeah well no I mean just by the laws of nature mm. we we all have a need to belong every living breathing creature on this earth have a need to belong yeah it's just that sometimes we have to be careful who we're talking to because people are looking for people who are vulnerable oh my gosh right so we really have to be careful when we're out searching uh, looking for someone to be in our life. And we have to make sure that that person is actually looking for love, right? Because mm. sometimes we get into relationships when somebody is honest, like saying, uh, you know, I'm not really looking for a relationship. I'm really concentrating on my career. Mm. Well, if you're really looking for a relationship, that's not the person that you want to be with. And then most of the time, we'll still settle for that person. We're like, you know what? Yeah. Well, maybe I can change their mind. Maybe yeah. I can be the scientist like you yeah. and do some type of yeah. science you know, manipulation. Absolutely. And then next thing you know, we have a broken heart. Absolutely. Oh, wow. And, 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 and you're so right, because sometimes we are sidetracked by the symmetric symmetry, yeah. our face and the golden ratio of the body. So sometimes we are sidetracked by that. Right. Mm. And you're, you're so right. And we want to get into that relationship anyway and think that we can change that relationship. Yeah. And that's just not going to happen, wow. you know. And then the dangerous thing is to actually be intimate with the person. Oh, my God. So if you're being intimate with the person, when you're talking about lust or love, then we're talking about something that I'm, I'm quite sure everybody have heard about so far now about the oxytocin. Mm -hmm. When you're being intimate, and that's why it's really dangerous to make sure that you like this person enough enough before you actually become intimate because what, 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 not only the oxytocin, that well, we're releasing several things, philoethylamine, mm. um, serotonin, all of these feel good drugs, mm -hmm. which makes us addicted to that person and yearn for that person. And we don't really know that much about that person. And so we think we love, love that, we it's think love. it's love and it's not, it's lust. Wow, yeah. well, I mean, I know our time is, is out, but I just have to ask you this question, especially you know in the industry, you see so many people coming together and, and they get divorced and then um, they choose a career and then later on they're like, oh, you know, I really want love because they see other people with it. But so how do you know when it's time for you to choose to have love in your life? Well, actually, what look, when it comes to love, mm -hmm. when it comes to real love, again, we all have a need to belong. Everybody wants to be in love. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's it's actually uh, just by the laws of nature. Uh, this is something that God created in us human beings. Yeah, is to love and to what procreate. Yeah, right. So it's something that is hardwired in us. What we're doing is actually suppressing it. Mm -hmm. So when we say I want to concentrate on my 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 uh, the industry. I mean, I've worked in the industry and I still work in the industry as an advisor and a consultant. So I see it happen all the time wow. where people put the industry first. And then later on, um, there's, 
you know, they, they want to get into a relationship, but you got to think about it. Uh, sometimes you, you, you might be a little older now. Mm. You might not look that, that, that handsome guy that you were. Um, loving and being in love, every living, breathing creature on this earth desires that. Mm -hmm. What we do is suppressive. So when people say, oh, I'm not really looking, oh, I don't really want it, uh, that, that's just not true. Wow. You know, it's just natural. Well, look, I appreciate you yeah. so much. I mean, you know, we had to hear from the doctor himself, whether it was love or was it lust. Yeah. But look, I want everybody to stay following you and get more information because a lot of people in the industry need to be advised on what to do when it comes to relationship. Yeah, absolutely. So can you let them know how they can stay in contact with yeah, you? Yeah, they can. They could uh, look me up, Rael, uh, Dr. Rael Sims dot com, uh, Facebook, uh, the Relationship Scientist. And yes, I also work for the industry. So when somebody's writing the script and everything, a relationship based type film and then I help them and, you awesome. know, with the with the relationships in the script. Yeah. Wow. You unlimited. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, like that. I like yeah. that. All right, you guys, I appreciate you so much. Uh, make sure you stay tuned because after this break, we're going to be back. We're going to play this little game with our panel group. Is it love or lust? And you heard it from the doctor himself. What love really is. We'll be right back after this break. graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in yourself, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. This is Jaina. And to the future, do you remember back when I was in seventh grade? Anything that I would do, she would make fun of me, she would laugh at me, she would talk to her friends and whisper. I grew up to be more independent and love myself and just be a little bit more confident. Aww, <laughs> I'm like blue tearing up right now. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. Make sure you continue to live an unlimited life with your host, Melody Trice. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Ooh, it's all about love or lust. So we have this amazing game that we're about to play. And our amazing panel guests, they're going to talk about whether it's love or lust. So I'm going to ask them questions, and they're going to raise their heart up and let us know whether it's love or lust, because it could be either or. So are y'all ready? ready? Ready. So that's the first question. If you meet someone mm -hmm. and you have a one-night stand, mm -hmm and you decide to stay with them. Is that considered love or lust? Hmm. Mm. Raise your thing if it's love or lust. Yeah. Only if we stay together. After. Yeah. Fight. Like, Y'all look kind of skeptical. Yeah. <laughs> because. Because. You can't possibly yeah. be love. The yeah. first night, you don't even know that person's home address. You don't know, you don't their, know name. their middle name. You well, you know. do know their home address because you went home to sleep with them. You but could have. They, <laughs> they came to your house. You don't know their favorite. Well, you movie. might have went to their house. house. You don't even know what kind of car they yeah. drive. Well, you know, you, you be with somebody like 10 years, you still don't know their favorite well, movie because it's a change. <laughs> I think it can be love. You know what? It's love. Even if it is just for five minutes, it's, it's fire. Love. It's, 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 it's love. Five minutes. I'm, I'm going to give you, you having one night stand. I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you five minutes of love. Okay, so <laughs> second five moment. Second, qu second question. <laughs> if you take someone to meet your family, is that considered love or lust? It's love. Yeah. Mm. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. We hope. We hope. You ain't meet my family unless you? I love you. <laughs> okay. Close enough to it. Or yeah. Okay, so yeah. you meet them and then you decide, okay, you want to take them on a date. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And 
Okay, I'm they, not taking anyone on a date. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, nowadays, no, you know, no. women. Right, 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 I'm just right, saying, no. they be want to be so whatever. Right, right, right. 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 pass. I'm passing on this <laughs> question. <laughs> and you, you know, I'm so, well, what if he, let's change this. What if your date guys and girls, right? Mm -hmm. They take you on the most amazing date ever. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, they're like, you know what? I love you. Mm. Is that true? Can someone tell you they love you on the first date? Nope. And it's love or lust? <laughs> I've been told that it's, it's infatuation. It's infatuation. Yeah. No, it's they, either love or lust. They, they, they think they love. Love. they think they're going with love. Lust. I, I can go with love. Mm -hmm. Because you got to love yourself in order to love someone else. So if you right. love yourself, you're able to tell someone else you love them too. So and mm -hmm. you have a genuine On the first date, happen. though? Right. Uh, On the first date? Because you no. can have just, you got, just got to have that spark. If you got right. that spark and they see something in you that makes them... You know, just draw well, yeah, to like you, and love. I'm yeah. yeah. I have that magnetic power for people, and, and, and there's like people a past life energy. Yes, of yes. Love. yes. So now that's serious. You need somebody, now. Oh, you very, need somebody yes. and it's like you feel like you know. Yes, and you, for yes. years. So you yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> love is more than a feeling. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. you know, feelings change. Feelings change. come and go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and then it's a it's a love thing. It really is. It's like I've loved you in another life. You can really feel that. People write they they write songs about that. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is the other question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you at work, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they bring you a gift. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've only been dating for like three months. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, even guys, mm -hmm. people do do this to guys, mm -hmm. and they propose to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you didn't propose to me. You didn't supposed to do it like that back. Is that considered love or is that just pure lust? If we've been spending 90 days together, 90 days together, day in, day out, getting to know someone, I think once you well, know you yourself Well, you in the industry, well enough, you ain't going to be with them that much. No, there are people right. that clean. Yeah, yeah. John friend. Legend and Christy Teigen. Christy, what, uh, yeah, but I mean, they're like industry professionals. They, right, they've but they've been together every day, you know. But they, uh, but they, I'm, they. I'm they, they listen, <laughs> it could be love. I'm gonna go for love. I'm all, I'm all in I have it for love. I'm a friend that, that they, they knew each other for about three months, then mm -hmm. they got married, mm -hmm. and they're still together. It's been about a year. Mm -hmm. So I mean, a whole it's, year. They're it, still dating. It, it's, it, it's possible. Mm -hmm. So you but would get married after three months? It's possible. I would. I would. No. But it depends on the person. You would. It depends on the person now, but I won't, no. But I have to, again, you're not, I gotta be specific. What was the gift? Though? <laughs> <laughs> it, it all depends on yeah, what the gift true. is. You know right. what? The Lotion gift is the not, gift. we're not getting married. No, because I'm just saying, right, right, right. The gift was, it, he was so sweet. When he came up to come and see you, he saw some roses outside. Mm -hmm. Of the studio, so he just romantic. pulled one off <laughs> and said, "Here, you a beautiful sunflower, darling." <laughs> no, <laughs> that's ain't doing not that. working. That's not working. I'm just saying. And that was the gift. Yeah, <laughs> real life. <laughs> that was simple. I thought the yeah. gift was like three and a half four what carats. Of okay. course, he's the ring. No, he's the ring. Give you the ring. The ring. So he it. Give you that, and then he's gonna propose. So he's gonna give you the ring. What the ring look like though? That's. But it don't matter if you in love. Y'all being material. If you love, see that is all lust. That is love. I mean, materialist. No, because see, in the industry now. No, but I need to know that you can provide for me, right? In the industry, see that's that's why they be getting married seventy times. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's part. I, th I, th I think I think after three months of dating, if you've dated intentional, intentional, and spent enough quality Fair time enough. with that person, okay, I can agree with you. With then that. I agree, and you already know what you want. So okay, let me ask you this: So if you, you have want. went on ten dates in a week, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that considered love or lust that you're looking for? I think you're like you're falling at, in love. Yeah, or you're falling, falling in love. Where you went yeah. on ten dates with the same person? No, mm -hmm. different people. Oh, it's not that's oh lust. different people. So it's lust. That's you're looking for love. Yeah, you're looking for it. But you you sure they're looking for love? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> they trying. Well, maybe you haven't. Maybe that may be your whole dates. <laughs> or or it could be equivalent True. to just meeting people, just meeting people just to get, you know, I'm going to keep on saying I'm new to this dating world. If I met 10 people in a seven-day span on an app 
or two. It would be no different from me going to the grocery store, the drug store, gas station. It, it, there's 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 well, I mean, that's the intention? But I'm saying well, you know, bumping well, into people and saying hi. But you know what? I'm coming from, to your house yeah. and meeting three or four guys there because you're having a pool party. Three or four guys. No, but yeah. I'm just still just talking. That's a I'm talking. I'm talking. On on a on a date, you're you're talking. That's lust. No, no yeah. or on a that's date, lust. what are you doing? You're, you're talking. You're, you're no, to you ain't. Know the person. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe trying to get well, cause see, like where I'm from, oh, we don't date. Oh, we don't date a lot of people. Right. Yeah. Because then you be like. Oh, she's a whole It's thing. overwhelming. Okay, yeah. it's for the man too. But who you knows? Like, well, who knows? Man dating. is not. Who knows your dating oh, no, it's I'm just to saying. That point now, because I get a little whispers in my ears when I'm going out with three different girls in one week. Oh, you a hoe? What's, what's up with that? Like. Like, yeah, six out. degrees of separation. And, you know, well, you know, I'm gonna say this because media, like everyone want, knows everywhere everybody true. was going. Like, well, you know, it. you don't put that personal. Yeah. Like, a lot of personal stuff you need to kind of keep it to yourself. But yeah. then you're not with them, then you gotta go all on social media. Everybody know that you ain't together. No, da, 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 even if you didn't media, do that, but I'm just saying, like, ooh, I'm at Mastro's. Ooh, I'm at um, yeah. whatever. Oh, pictures so, by myself. Uh, yeah, you don't you don't be by yourself. No pictures by myself. Someone's gonna be like, so you went to all these restaurants by yourself, dressed up like that. Stop. I would though. Taking selfies. I would I'm just saying, it. I would. I would do that. Okay, so we gotta go, but I want everybody to stay following you on your social media, you know, and let everybody know what you have going on and all that great stuff. So we're gonna start with you, Um My social media is Glamour Voice Entertainment for Instagram. You know, follow me, see what's going on. I'm kind of on a little bit of a hiatus right now, but hopefully soon we'll pick back up. You know, career wise, things are just booming and I'm a little overbooked, but we'll make it happen though. Mm -hmm. Can you look at no, not love, right? I'm looking for love. Fun. You looking for love or less? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Monique. Okay, so you would follow me at uh, Monique Jackson in the number one on Instagram. Uh, for me, there's a lot going on. I'll just have to say that. I have uh, a, a lot of clients doing great things. I'm producing quite a few shows right now, and who knows what's coming next with this newly found single life. Mm -hmm. Man. Come on. Come on. Watch out. <laughs> okay, watch out. <laughs> okay. And you can find me uh, everywhere at I am Danny Royce. Uh, I got a lot of things going on right now too, and I just wrote a sitcom, so that's oh, in uh, the pitching process. Thank you. Uh, and host and produce a show inside the Black Act Studio every Thursday, so you can check that out. Awesome. You can check me out on Instagram at that Melissa or Melissa Strong. Uh, right now, you will also catch me every week on Hallmark from Friend to Fiance, as well as my new upcoming series. I play Goddess Gia on Utopia Falls on Hulu. Awesome. Okay. I'm so excited for y'all. Okay, so that's what qualified them, okay, because they're doing a lot of amazing things. Make sure you're following them on their social media and, you know, updating on everything they're doing because it's going to be changing. It may go from love to lust to love to lust, but regardless, they love what they do and they're lovable people. So uh, make sure you follow me on my social media. I'm so excited. We're on so many different channels, so you got to be staying tuned. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Roku TV as well as Amazon Fire TV, and we're constantly adding different channels. So make sure you follow. Till next time, you guys, I'm your girl, Melody Trice. Bye.